<laughs> Die! Die, no! Die! Hello Genshin Impact players, we're gonna do a showcase for the weapon, of course, that we pulled a couple of videos ago. I'm sorry, again. Before we go on, I would like to let you know that you should not be skipping this video. Do you know why? Because it will help me get more money from the ad revenue. Thundering Pulse from R1 to R5. Let's go ahead and see how much damage we can do against this Geo Vishap. This is at R1 and we will do this again at R5. We're gonna have Zhongli shield for consistencies. Use ult. We can tank and just hit him. Just like that. Okay, there you go. So this was the damage at R1. Okay, we're going to fight. Cryo, Red is fine as well. Use Q. All right. I would like to let you know that we have Ayaka and Yoimiya merch selling in the store. You can find the merch link in the video description down below and help me pay for water bills. So this is going to be the damage with R1 Thundering Pulse against Masanori. We are going to upgrade this weapon to R2. By looking at this number, you will see the reason why I actually decided to pull for the R5 weapon. So if I make this to R2, you see that you get 5% attack and from the maximum number, you get 10% more. That means if you make this R5, you're going to get that 40% increased attack and an 80% normal attack damage. So here we go. As you can see, we got a little bit of an attack increase. Yo, Sabring, stop doing the porn acting. What the f***? We haven't attacked Manasori, okay? What do you mean? What the f*** is the difference? You gotta keep that mint, okay? For 10 seconds later. Guys, get ready to porn act. So it's a little impossible for me to see the number difference because there's so many numbers going on. So I'm gonna have to depend on my editor. I got you, homie. Now guys, we're gonna make this to R3. So now we're gonna get 30% attack and a 60% normal attack damage. Okay. Her attack now 2565 with the pyro resonance. Oh guys, no, no, not yet, not yet. <laughs> No, you guys are running the video. What the f? Okay, now we're gonna make this weapon to R4. We now have 35% attack and 70% normal attack damage. My attack 2612. Here we go. That is quite fast. We should be able to see a speed difference or the damage difference when we actually go back to Primal Geo Bishop because, you know, this guy, Masanori, is kind of like RNG for him to heal himself up. Now that we have seen the R4 Thundering Pulse, let's make this to R5. 40% attack, 80% normal attack damage. Now we don't have to get jealous about R5 Rust Bow. So my final attack is going to be 2659. All right, you know what? Guys, let's go over to the Cryo <laughs> Registrine. Where is the hole, guys? Bruh. Okay, we found the hole, guys. I'm very happy. I totally didn't mean to do that.
Okay, definitely faster. Guys, now we are back. And we're gonna be able to see the damage difference. It should be huge, right? Let's see if that thousand dollar was worth. Oh my god, the auto aim! Nice. We did see the difference, but we were not able to kill Joe Bishop. I think I've got an idea. <laughs> die! Die! No! Die! <laughs> oh shit, we couldn't fix this. Wait, I mean, it died? <laughs> That wasn't with Yoimiya's Q though. I used it in the middle. We're gonna be adding this footage to the video because we haven't reached 8 minutes mark, I believe. So let's go ahead and do this. This is gonna be a comparison between a R1 Thundering Pulse versus R5 Thundering Pulse. All right. Thank you so much for watching this video, checking this video out, and supporting my gambling addiction. I don't have an addiction. It's a investment. You know, think about it like this. This is an investment. This is my business, right? And then there's that serious mother on YouTube. They're like, hey, okay, this guy has a problem. This guy has a problem. I'm like, dude, I can make YouTube video out of this. It's an investment. Anyways, thank you so much. And I'll see you guys next time. Adios.